Thank you for your interest in V2 Cloud. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of creating and managing virtual machines, adding users, and the basic initial setup. After you create an account with V2 Cloud, you'll have access to the dashboard. Your dashboard is your management console and view into the virtual machines that you have created. The first step is to create a cloud computer. To do this, click on Add New Cloud Computer. Choose the region that is closest to you. Select a plan. We have some recommendations based on the number of users that will access the virtual machine. However, if you're still not sure what you need, please contact the sales team at V2 Cloud. I'm going to select the founder plan. Next, I'm going to choose Windows 10 multi user based on Windows Server 2019. I'm going to choose a private IP address. Now give your computer a name. Agree to the terms and conditions and click Confirm. Here you will see the new computer that I created in the dashboard. The process to build the virtual machine will take approximately 20 to 30 minutes. You will see a status of building and once that process is complete, the status will change to running. You will receive an email once the build process is done. The build process is now complete. I can now add users and applications. To get started, click on Actions and then select Manage Computer. We will add a user, so click on the Users tab. Then click on the Add User Access button. Enter the user's email address, full name, password, then confirm password. You can also make this user an administrator. This will not provide access to the dashboard. It will only allow them to install applications on their cloud computer. I can also enforce two-factor authentication to authenticate via SMS text message or via email each time the user logs in. Now click Submit and that will add the user to the dashboard. To install applications for your users, you will need to connect to the administrator desktop. Next to the administrator account, click Actions, then select Web Connect. Here is where you will install any applications that your users will need to do their work, just like you normally would on any desktop or server. Once you've added your users and your applications, you can now give users access to their virtual machines. We provide two ways for the users to connect. The first way is directly through the browser. The second way is through a small downloadable application that is available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. To connect through the browser, the user will enter their credentials into the sign-on page. Once logged in, they will be able to access the applications and anything else that you want the user to work with. V2 Cloud has some nice user management features built in. From the dashboard, you can quickly see the logged in users in green while the others are in red. From here, you can edit the user, make them an administrator, and enforce two-factor authentication. You can see user login history, which includes the IP address used to log in, the dates the user logged in, and the duration of their session. You can also connect to the user's desktop right from the dashboard if they need assistance. Just click on the share view and you can go into the view only mode or with control and this will allow me to interact with the user's desktop while they're still working. Some other useful features here, I can end the user session, I can also delete the user. With V2 Cloud you can easily set up remote applications. With remote applications you can provide access to a single application or multiple applications without providing full desktop access. When the user logs in, they will be brought directly into that application. They can save files, they can still print, and they can still access their documents. However, they will not be able to access any other desktop applications or web browsers. To set up a remote applications, move over to the Apps tab. Now click on Add New Remote Application. Type the name of the application and input the path of the executable. This will add the application to your list of remote applications and you'll be able to select it under the Edit Users tab. V2 Cloud has no contracts or commitments to worry about, so you can easily move up or down between the plans as your business needs change. To upgrade or downgrade your computer hardware, click on the Plan tab. Next, click Change Computer Hardware and choose the hardware plan that best suits your needs. Now click Change Computer Hardware. 
All of your applications will stay intact, the system will reboot, and when the users log back in, they'll be on the new hardware plan. Changing your hardware can also be accomplished by opening a support ticket. We provide easy access to our support team right from the dashboard. Click on the chat bubble in the lower right hand corner of your screen. This connects you to a live support technician to assist you with technical questions or make changes to your computer hardware. Changes can be made after normal business hours so that employees are not interrupted. If you require more storage space, you can easily upgrade right from the dashboard. Click on the storage tab. Here you see your primary disk size. Mine is currently set at 50 gigabytes. To increase it, click on Actions and then select Resize Disk. Simply move the slider to the amount of disk space that you require and then click Submit. The system will reboot and when it's complete, you will now have access to that additional storage space. From this screen, you can also add additional disks to your system. Click Add a New Disk and choose the desired size, then click Submit. This will add an additional disk to your system. For security reasons, all the incoming ports to your virtual machine will be closed by default. If you need to open a port for a specific application, click on the Networking tab, and then click on Add a New Port Forward. Type in the port number that you want to open and click OK. All V2 Cloud Business Plans include backups. We take a full backup of the virtual machine each night at midnight and keep a seven day history. To access your backups, click on Snapshots tab. Here you will see your backups for the last seven days. If a disaster happens and you need to revert back to a previous day, click Actions, then select Revert to Snapshot. That will bring the virtual machine back to the state it was on that date. If a file is accidentally deleted, rather than reverting to the previous day, you can attach a backup as a second disk. This will allow you to be able to go in, get the file or folder that you need, and as long as you delete that disk before your next billing cycle, you won't be charged for it. Thank you for your time today. This concludes the demo of the basic features and setup of your virtual machine. Other basic and advanced tutorials are available on our website at v2cloud.com. Thank you for your interest in v2cloud. If you need more information or would like a live demo, please contact us via phone, email, or chat. Thank you.